How's it going everybody? Chadley here and today I have an absolutely insane weapon for you guys. I don't know how people aren't using this more often because this thing is seriously god tier. It's on a whole nother level right now. It's it it's blown my mind in the past two days. Like I don't know how to describe it. This gun is amazing and that is the wagon wheel. So what this gun does is on a hit it's going to ricochet six projectiles and the one you shoot out at other people so you get seven total ricochets and then if you hit a crit you're gonna get 15 and then if you guys are aware of how bonus elements work in this game it increases the number of like extra projectiles so if you have bonus elements going on your shield and grenade say you have one bonus element you guys are gonna be getting 14 ricochets on a body and 30 ricochets on a crit and then if you guys have two action skills and like bonus elements or just in general bonus elements on, you're going to get 21 and then 45 for a crit. And then if you have three, you're going to get 24 for a body and 60 for a crit. It is insane how many ricochets you can get with this gun. So this is seriously one of the best mobbing weapons in the entire game going through the takedown and even true takedown you can just tear through the mobbing sections like the bridge all the enemies are so close and there's so many all these ricochets are just going to destroy people so i actually found out about this gun i was farming for the sickle because i wanted to test that out after its buff and i ended up getting a gamma burst version of the wagon wheel so i went again and tested it out and it destroys everything if you do a gamma cancel and then throw a gamma burst on the ground, you can just destroy everything in one to two shots. The The whole map, your whole mini map, if you see red dots, it's just going to clear. It's insane. And then I had the idea of putting it on Amara with ties that bind. And this is ridiculous. I will be finishing up this build here within the next day or two and share the completed thing with you guys. But I just needed to share this gun with you guys because it is truly ridiculous. So we'll go ahead and just go into Athena's and like the takedown. I can show you guys a little bit more. Hopefully the opening montage showed you guys how much damage this gun can actually do. But I'll see you guys over on Athena's. Okay, so we're here on Athena's. But before we get into the fighting, I just wanted to mention I do have 100% ASE one and the bonus radiation one for Siren. The bonus radiation one could end up being pretty good if they ever fix the bonus radiation. Right now it's only 25%. I know it says 75%, but that's just a visual thing. It actually only does 25% bonus radiation. So maybe if they fix that, this might outclass the 100% ASE. But I cannot test that right now because this is bugged. But otherwise, the 100% ASE made a huge difference in how fast things died. So definitely try to get your hands on one of these. And if you guys are playing like Gamma Flak, get to the Gamma Burst anointments. If you're playing Zane, get the 100% bonus cryo. And Moe's get the 125 bonus incendiary. And you'll be good to go. You're gonna, you guys are going to be reflecting so many bullets at enemies. And you're just going to fly through these mobbing sections. So let's go ahead and just see how it does. I am going to be using 100% ASE. Like I said. And we're just going to go ahead and start destroying these guys. So even single targets. It does okay. But it definitely performs better in groups like this. So right now. Um, yeah. Everything's just gone. Uh, <laughs> It, it seriously like takes like a shot or two. Hopefully you guys saw in that opening montage as well how fast we'd killed the Kraken. We almost one shot it. Unfortunately with this build, I do not have corrosive as the action skill element. Otherwise, I think we could have done it. I just like using fire because most of the mobs in the game will be flesh targets underneath their shields or armor. And you do more than enough damage with everything else in here that the fire just finishes off everything you need. That, we just one tap to that heavy right there. And it's a little ridiculous. I don't know how people are not using this gun right now. So that is the main reason. I just needed to share this with you guys. And we can go ahead and go into the takedown and just see how that does. I'll even go true takedown so you can see how the damage goes. Okay, let's go ahead and do the true takedown. As we can see, true takedown is on. And we're going to go ahead and start it. Also, our modifiers are shotgun damage and enemy fire rate. So nothing is going to be boosting our wagon wheel. This is truly going to be how good this gun is. I'm gonna go ahead and get past the guards and then uh, I'll show you how the wagon wheel does. All right, we're here at the true takedown and I just wanted to group up some enemies and show you guys. So right here, we're just gonna go ahead and throw our little, little guys up and we can just one tap basically everybody when they're in ties that bind. 
It's not the greatest single target damaging weapon by any means, but it definitely gets the job done on some of the weaker guys. Otherwise, if you guys are using Gamma Burst or like Ties That Bind, you can see how fast everything just dies. Another cool part about this gun and Ties That Bind is we can make our Valkyries right here basically insta immune for the most part. Just go ahead and bind them and spray in. <laughs> And they're all immune. I don't think any of them actually get shields left. If they do, it's just a sliver like that. That is very handy. Otherwise, during all these enemy spawns during this fight, you can go ahead and just basically insta-kill the group. As long as you can phase grasp them as they're kind of spawning in. So right here, we're going to try to do that to this group that's going to spawn in. And the only thing that lived was our badass here. Just because everything else around him died. Otherwise, if there's enemies, you are going to just destroy. So there goes that entire group in just like two shots there. This thing is seriously in a whole different level. Also, I realized during our little uh, Kraken fight here just a couple minutes ago, we had bonus incendiary on our grenade. We had no bonus corrosive on at all. I forgot to switch over from Athena's. So that is kind of a shame and why we did a little bit less damage than we should have. If you guys have the right bonus elements on, this gun is just going to crap on everything. So here we got another group right here. And we couldn't get the shot off before he, we went down. But otherwise, now they're all dead and we're good to go. You can basically insta-kill him. It definitely works best if you don't shoot the guy that um, has the phase grasp on him. Because then the ricochets will just kind of go everywhere and it works out very, very well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to our Gamma Flak just so I can show you guys. It's not purely ties that bind that is making this gun so good. It destroys basically just as fast on Gamma Flak. So let me go ahead and switch over there and we can uh, show that off. Okay, so we're over on our Flak Nukem here. I do have a wagon wheel with Gamma Burst. And then otherwise, our modifiers right now is shield grenade melee and enemy explosion. So nothing is going to be helping out our wagon wheel. Also, our action skill ends are shock and incendiary. Let's go ahead and just run it. We go ahead and activate all of our action skills. And that was just a single target. And it did that. If I could actually hit him, they would have died very fast. Yeah, this, this gun does not need ties that bind. It's just a very good synergy with them. Otherwise, on Flak here, we're just going to destroy. And especially with like Megavore and stuff like that, and Two Fang, we're getting so many extra projectiles and so much extra damage. It's a little, a little insane. We did 286,000 on that hit right there. And just one shot with a wagon wheel pistol. Uh, so yeah, if that, if that isn't proof to how good this gun is, if you guys aren't using bonus elements, it's not really that great, but I think most people in this game are using bonus elements, so definitely give this gun a shot. It is quite amazing and works for basically anybody. If you use the anointments, like I said earlier in the video, for all your different characters, I'm sure it will work perfectly fine. I do not have a bonus incendiary on Moe's, and I do not have Sentinel Cryo, or else I would show you guys those as well. But that's going to do it for this video. If you guys want to use this gun, it is absolutely amazing i highly suggest it it drops from the warden in the anvil so if you guys want to get your hands on it go ahead and farm him otherwise you guys can join the discord hit up the trading chats in there and i'm sure somebody will hook you up but yeah um if you guys want to see my amara build that i'm working on make sure to hit the subscribe button i'm going to be releasing that in just a couple days its main focus is the wagon wheel here and other pistols so if that sounds exciting to you make sure to stick around for that Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more kind of discoveries like this, make sure to go over to Twitch. We're live basically every single night. Definitely go check it out. Love to see more of you guys over there. But that's going to do it for this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.